What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Team Storm Circus Live video. Turn on the left side here. We have Cheryl Mints. On the right side, we have Chimera, a deck that's getting lots of new support. This is the new archetype, Illusion, um, as well as an old foe. Cheryl Mints not longer being the tier 0 deck that it is, but still being a very fun deck that players love for play. You know, we are seeing lots of mills. Um, there's different variations in the deck, and I really do like it. I like how we have, like, we switched it up a little bit. You know, some people are playing the, um, the hero stuff now. Other people are playing with the Horus engine. There's lots of just good stuff in it, you know, always being nice. The Horus engine is kind of cool because it does let them go to a zombie vampire and it lets you mill, like, four cards, which is just, just, just good. Um, then you play a mirror match, and it's all intense. And there's other ones that are playing, like, some of the Unchained, the Unchained Shyaman, the Graveyard, the Popular Trap, or the Kaleido Heart. Lots of, like, good cards. It's just a good 40-card pile there. Um... And then with Chimera, we see that it's most likely going to be the Brandon Chimera. I am seeing the Aluber being shuffled into the deck there. And we are seeing like a Crow in the deck as well as like Imperm and Drolls. We got a little bit of a sneak peek there. Before we dive in, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're trying to hit the 5k by the end of the year here. And we are to support. We're going to see a die roll with Chimera choosing to go first here with a normal summon out of Mirror Swords Knight activating its effects. It's not going to get Ash, which is very nice. It will let them summon out the Big Wing. And Big Wing will let them search for a Gazelle as well as a copy of Chimera Fusion here, which will get them access to the um, Chimera Fusion. But it will be discarding a card from their hand, which is not the greatest. So you kind of don't really want to do that. We do see the Hex in the hand as well. Um, so we're going to activate the effect. I'm going to be using the Gazelle as well as the Big Wing. Going for a copy here of the chimera they're going to go triple chain links and they're going to be activating the effect on the mirror swords knights but cannot be revived off of the big wing having a jurist in the opening hand is pretty crazy as well as being a level six so you can actually use it to overlay for like a beatrice is pretty nice um, we'll be searching for quaddle here quaddle will be searching for the mirror swords knight then we're going to activate the effect to add back the chimera fusion there We do have quite a few cards in hand. We know we're going to set that Imperm and the uh, Fusion, but we've already normaled as well. You we see a Droll. So we have Droll, Imperm, Fusion. Okay. And then we are going to be hand ripping them here. Hitting a Foolish Barrel Goods is quite good for us. You know, having them not be able to send the Kachibi Karma from the deck is uh, quite, quite good at what it's supposed to be doing. We do also have a Droll in the hand. So, you know, it, it will be preventing us from using the Guardian Chimera, but we're going to see them go straight in the battle phase and Druid Storm's going to be attacking over the, uh, the Fusion there. That will kind of a little bit prevent Guardian Chimera, but they can still, you know, banish the summon out. Then we're going to see, and then activate a Foolish Goods here. So having both goods in the hand. I feel like you can just chain to this. Summon up Big Wing maybe. Gonna be chaining Gar uh, Chimera Fusion here, and then chaining the copy of the King in the Graveyard as well. Gonna summon out the Big Wing. We won't be able to activate the effect there, but we're gonna be using itself and the Hex. Go for Lubellion. Okay. That can be kind of Albaz. So it does make sense. So you're going to send the Kel back. They're going to activate Lubellion. Pitching the Mirror Swords Knight there. Then 
Then we're going to be banishing or shuffling back. We can shuffle back the ones that are in the banished. To go for a, a copy of Mirror Jade here. Mirror Jade can set or send Renbrom, I guess. And it's going to be putting back the Blue Belly on there. To go for a copy of the Mirror Jade. And then we're going to be summoning out the Quaddle. We didn't get the big wing effect there, which I don't really understand why we would just not just activate big wing right away. We're going to see Kelbex device can activate as well, which is going to be milling five. We do see a King of the Swamp. This is so this is a King of the Swamp build in triple rhino with a pale Reno there. And then we see them hitting a nib, and I didn't get to see the other cards there. But Triple Rhino is crazy. Double Nib, Branded Fusion, and Chain. So we're going to see one of the Rhinos activate to summon. And see them pitch the Scream. So we're going to go Chain Link 1, Rhino, Chain Link 2, Scream. Chaining three Imperm, so making them rely here on milling other stuff. And we're going to see the column being negated there. Adding a trap isn't the greatest there, but it's either really Silic or Meta Noise, unless they're playing like Crime in the main deck, which is quite unusual. And we do have Mirror Jade onto the field, which is still alive. And we're going to be adding, I believe, that is Sulik. With two cards left, I'm going to be linking away for a copy here of the Dark. And then we will be able to activate the effect here of Jewish Worm. We're obviously going to be chaining... The Mirror Jade sending the Albion there. And then we're going to be banishing the Dark. The Mirror Jade will go to the Graveyard. We're going to activate the effect of Mirror Jade as well. And that actually lets us not continue with Dark, which is nice because I can't like summon to a zone of points. Two it's no longer there. And we know all they have left in hand is one card and a Sulik. Whenever they do summon, it's going to get destroyed here, which is nice. We're already in main phase two, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. It might be actually three cards in hand. I might be incorrect. We're going to see a Sharon being summoned there. And we're going to set one in pass, keeping the one card in hand. Not activating Sharon is pretty crazy. Oh, it's a Havness. Okay. Wonder why we didn't chain Havness to the Mirror Jade. Then end phase, Albion will be able to search us for a branded fusion. You see it getting sent to the graveyard, and then Rukulos will be made by shuffling back the King of the Swamp as well as the Shiren. Which is pretty nice there. It will be able to negate the branded fusion. I don't really think they thought of, of this, to be honest. We do see a big wing in the hand there that could tribute summon, but we're going to be seeing a normal summon of a Mirror Swords Knight here. Activating the effect, that will resolve. Summoning out Gazelle. And then we're going to be seeing Sulik being chained to this. And then we're going to also see the effect of Rukulo summon herself out because she was sent to the graveyard there. Which means that the mirror, uh, the brand infusion still will not resolve. We're gonna activate brand infusion. There's no way it goes through. Unless it, yeah, I was gonna say unless I think it's bait, but there's gonna be actually in the Rukulos there. Understandable. Like brand infusion does so much in this. 
and be able to dump like a gazelle and then uh, dumping albaz as well. Or depending on what they need, they can just go for like Albion either or Lubelion. It doesn't really matter. But we will be seeing like they're on pretty much nothing here. The tier will be on top deck, but so is the uh, so is the Chimera player. We're going to see a special summon out of a Fenrir. That is huge in this. You know. Having a Fenrir against a top deck is just insane. Searching for Tear Cash. And then we could hit them with a Droll Unlock. Which we are going to be seeing. And now the Fenrir could banish the Quaddle if want. Yeah, so it's going to be banishing the Quaddle there. They say pass. Oh no, did I activate the tier cache? Say there's no way. I was like, what? Banishing the screen. Then we are gonna be seeing the hitting nothing. I hit Nessie. Or hit Magnumut. Wow, Magnumut talents and terraforming. That's rough. Now the Solik will now be live, and we'll also be able to send two more cards. So we're going to go Battle Phase and attack with the Fenrir there. Well, Tear Cash can attack into the Defense Edition Monster. Then they're going to take 24 from the Cash. But... We're going to see a normal Summon of Gazelle activating the effect here. We could Solik this. I don't even know what the other face down could be. I know we have big wing in hand as well as I actually don't even know. Oh, we did see the big wing in the hand though. It looks like Chimeras is going to scoop it up here. You know, having Big Wing in the hand is kind of unfortunate. And, you know, having that Rukulos, being able to come back is just so rough. Sometimes it's not even worth, worth activating the effect there of Mirror Jade because we knew our opponent will be able to, like, I mean, they're kind of, like, banking on, like, having a summon. So I guess it's, like, kind of rough. Like, they really thought they were running a normal summon of Havness just so it gets sent so they can trigger it. It's, like, super weird. Especially, like, if they make a huge board, you just have to send it, essentially. Like, not activating that effect is just wild. We could have seen, like, having this being chained to the Mirror Jade on the field as well, which could have been, like, summoned itself, milling three cards. We did see them end up drawing into, uh, I forget what it was, drawing into a Fenrir. So that would have been one of the hits. Um, but we will be seeing game two here. It's quite unfortunate. We've seen Sean on the channel a lot with Chimera, and he ends up always drawing the big wings. It's like almost like it stuck to his hand, like Shyama stuck to mine. I wonder if there's a deck out there that just doesn't run any bricks. But that'd probably be like a little bit too consistent, I guess. If you guys know any decks that don't run bricks, let me know down in the comment section down below. I'd love to have a deck that just absolutely does not brick. And yes, Lab does brick, so that is not something you guys can put in the comment section down below. There's been quite a few times where I have bricked with Lab. But we're going to be moving on into game two here with Chimera. going to be able to choose who's going to go first. Most likely going to be choosing themselves. And we did see a Kadrua Swarm turn zero there. That was pretty unexpected, to be honest. I didn't think I would see a tear on a Drua Swarm in the main deck. The only reason why I can see it is like it is a level six. It's also good against Unchained, but like it's against Unchained and Branded. Everything's good against Branded though, so it's just like so hard. But like it's horrible against like Rescue Ace and stuff like that. We did see how it worked out for them though. They were able to attack and then, you know, be able to send that um, that Mirror Jade there, which like made the whole thing happen. So 
Green diving back in again. We see a, the Guardian or Chimera Fusion here. Another spell and then three other monsters. Is one of them branded opening? Okay. We're going to see them activate Guardian or Chimera Fusion. Make the Beast right away with both the cards in the hand. So opening up Big Wing once again. Then we're going to activate the effects here. I'm just going to search for a Quaddle. Then we also have the Mirror Swords Knight as well. We can pitch, I guess. We can activate the Quaddle here. Search for Mirror Swords Knight. Now we have a normal summon. That's quite good for us. I think I also saw a Fenrir in the hand. We're going to activate the Branded Opening. Pitching the Fenrir. I just don't understand why we didn't summon the Fenrir in the first place. Then we're going to activate the Aluber. Aluber effect will here be able to search us for Branded Fusion. It is just not better to Fenrir summon itself out. Then we get a Fenrir to summon itself out. Activate the effect of Fenrir. Search for Fenrir, which would have let Branded Opening discard Fenrir while just having another Fenrir on the field. Um, we're see Branded Fusion activate, getting Ashed. And then we're going to be normal with the Near Swords Knight, which... You know, it's probably correct in this situation because I already have the whole, like, um, they already have, like, the whole Chimera board really set up. Um, the brand of Fusion will really just get them into a Mirror Jade, and that's quite oppressive. So, choosing to go for this instead definitely makes sense to me. So, we see the Big Knight, or the Big Wing being summoned off of the um, Illusion here, which is going to search us for a follow-up, essentially. And, you know, having double fusion spells is never that bad. You know, we did rip one card of their hand by Ash Blossom. Uh, you know, potentially having another... Well, we're going to see another rip here. But if we could see, like, another low-impact hand trap being used, it could be quite nice. We're going to see another Chimera Fusion probably mean making for a copy of the... Um, part of plant Dragos Topelia, maybe. We're going for the copy here of another Chimera. Then when we seeing the Gazelle bring back the uh, or the Big Wing bring back the Mirror Swords Knight, and then we're gonna be activating the effect to add back setting one. Carrot in passing turn on this. We're going to be ripping one card from their hand. And it is a planet, which is a great hit. You know, we're two for two on those rips so far. And we're going to be drawing for a turn here. We're going to activate the effect of the Mirror Swords Knight here. There's no way we're on a third big wing, right? Yeah, we're not on a third big one. We're probably going to summon a gazelle here, but unfortunately we have gazelle already in the hand. The gazelle effect's going to activate there, letting us search for the final copy of Chimera or Chimera Fusion. Then we're going to see the effect of King of the Swamp being activated here, letting them search for a polymerization. I still can't believe that we didn't summon out the Fenrir. That's just so weird to me. It's like an extra body on the field for no reason. And deck thinning. And we didn't want to get hit with a droll. We see a tear cache activate here. So trying to banish from the hand. Um, we do have the Guardian or the Chimera Fusion set, but it's all good to go. We're going to be banishing another copy of Tear Cash here, and then we're going to be activating the effect to Mill 3 here. Only two cards left in the hand. And it looks like we're going to. We're just going to scoop it up there, rather than we don't have enough. You know, we have a Droll and another card in hand. And, you know, we, had a, we know we have Guardian or Chimera Fusion set. It's just not going to do anything for us here. I mean, I would have. Let them mill, but I mean, I don't really know. We've at least tried to mill, I guess, but would have been quite difficult. I know we would have gotten an extra two mills there. We would have milled three, and then whenever the 
Guardian Chimera comes out, we're going to mill another two, but I guess just wanting to scoop it up there. We're going to game three. You know, their opponent does have a lot. We're well on two cards, so our mills would have to be pretty good. We're just going to see them sh shuffle up their decks. They're on the th uh, talents as well as the hand traps. I think it's interesting. Um, you know, we're, we're seeing them cut the imperms, it looks like. Or was that cosmics? Okay. We do see the evenlies go, or... I thought they were going in. The thrusts are going to go in there, wanting to be able to search for those talents. You know, their chances are of a monster effect being activated... When your opponent goes first with the tier board, it's pretty uh, pretty insane. We'll probably see like a good copy of uh, the Predator Plant Drago Um Maybe a Beatrice. Like we did see the Bistils there, that could be you know used for a rank six if we're playing some of the uh, Denier and De uh, Malicious. We'll be able to see the Beatrice. Lots of good options. We did see the Nib in the deck as well. So you know, hoping to set up a negate before. That nib gets dropped. That can be done with a King of the Swamp, though. We are me seeing them see a Droll and an Ash, I think, in the hand there. I see them special note the Fenrir here, which is already that good, like already crazy. Activate the tier planet, so not wanting to get hit with the Droll. I want to see them search, maybe already having the Fenrir or the other card in the hand there. Searching for a shine, and we are going to be seeing a droll on res, so they will not be able to search for Cash Dira, um, or the yeah tier Cash. But Shine can get you there, though. We're going to see the Shine effect be activated there, sending a copy of Rhino Heart, and we hit Rhino Heart, Medora, and Scream. I mean, Scream can't activate. Does Rhino Heart have anything to activate there? The Summon? Actually, it's not even Ash. It's Big Wing in the hand and an Albaz. Okay. We don't have anything to send. We're just a set one and pass here. Wow. And draw for turn, and they do draw a call by. That's quite good. So we can just like negate any of the hand traps they have in hand, or we could just negate their shine if it gets sent to the graveyard with one of like the tier names. Let's see a special note of a Fenrir of our own here. That is quite good. Then we're seeing them flip up a Selic. Act for the effect, sending the Shiren to the graveyard here. But we have the call by the grave for it. It's going to negate the effects of Fenrir. We're pretty much forced to call by, no? They're going to chain opening here. They're going to pitch Albaz. Oh, to the Selic, okay. Then we're summoning out a Luber here. A Luber's going to go Chain Link 1, Shiren uh, Shire Chain Link 2, Call by the Grave Chain Link 3. But then we're searching for Brandon Fusion here. They don't have anything they can go for with the Shirens. It's not even activating, which is so weird to me. I guess Double Rhino can't make Kaleido Heart, right? It needs a Warrior. It needs, well, it needs that and two Aquas. Then we see them tribute summon out for Big Wing here, activating the effect, searching for the uh, Gazelle as well as the Chimera Fusion. Dare I say this game is already over here for the uh, for the tier player? I'm gonna activate Chimera Fusion, use the Gazelle and the we're using all three, I guess, yeah. They could go for a Guardian Chimera. Or just going for the two, going for the uh, 
the new one, it looks like. I actually don't even know this card's name. But they will be able to trigger the effects there. This one is the good copy of... It, like, dumps a beast. But we're going to see Quaddle being hit in the grave there. It is called the... Where is, she, where is it at? The Bepermat, the Mescal King of Phantom Beasts. And then it says, this card becomes the Chimera. Once per turn, if the you can send one Beast, Fiend, or Illusion from your deck to your graveyard. During your opponent's turn, quick effect. You can banish a card from your graveyard and target one Beast, or Illusion, special summon it. Uh, it is bigger than the... Uh, the Chimera, which means it can't attack into the Fenrir, I guess. That is a way to get rid of it, you know. Having to face down a 24 body, this will be able to crash with it. And then they'll have Fenrir to be able to activate there for follow-up. They could also just Fenrir and then, you know, banish the opponent's monster as well. Could be a possibility, but maybe they want to be banishing the Selic face down so that they can't activate the effect later on. You know, we do have the Cobb of the Grave, so we're essentially just pretty much chilling here regardless. And we don't care if our monster's in the grave. And we see a Branded Fusion being activated here. And then we're going to see them chain Cobb of the Grave. And the Sharon. Now Medora is going to be shaning as well here. Or it's going to be chained to the Medora so they don't get the shuffle back. So they're going to try to go for the copy of Lubellion here. But Lubellion will be able to negate there. That makes sense. I guess kind of negate. They'll be able to shuffle back the target so they won't be able to summon itself out. And then we're going to go for the Albion here. And then we can activate the Albion effect if we wanted to. We're going to see Planet popping the Selic. Because a tier was shuffled back in. They're going to go for the Mirror Jade there. And then they're going to be going Selic 1, Fenrir 2. And then targeting the Mirror Jade. They're going to be Chain Link 3, Mirror Jade, Banish. And we're going to be seeing it resolve here. So they're going to be able to add a tier cash to the hand and that does have a lot of attack we are approaching to the time here when we activate in quaddle quaddle will be able to search us for a mirror swords knight they're going to activate the effect there to attempt to banish the scream and then we're going to be negating with the mirror swords knight on the field so they won't be able to mill they go attempt to attack our and i believe we just see a tie there they could have gone Fenrir attack banish face down and then attack for game but it is pretty nice you know time it time rules do kind of suck but yeah Fenrir attack into it banish it face down there and then just you declare attack for game would have been or attack for time game would have been nice but essentially here we are going to be seeing that the um chimera player end up taking the win there they're going to set up way more than they possibly needed so we also saw a polymerization in the hand of the tier players so like they're at the top deck very good for that um but hopefully you enjoyed the, enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe want to see some more content like this don't forget to stay safe peace